Here we go. Let's start with Caden from Missouri. Okay. Where did you two meet? And what was your first impression of each other? Let me set the scene quickly before you respond. Okay. In 2005, I was doing a show in New York City, your city, called Cold Pizza. Right. I'd been on it for about a year. Before I joined it, I left a five-year relationship that I'd been in, mm -hmm. and I was free and single in New York City and had not dated a soul because I was not in the relationship business at this point. I was obsessed with my work, with my show. I had to get up very early as I do now for Undisputed for cold pizza back in those days. And here it was, August, football season was upon us. And one fateful morning, fire away. I booked Kevin Dillon on your and, and show. You I was working for a executive. PR agency, yeah. mm -hmm. largest agency in the world, and I booked Kevin Dillon mm -hmm. to promote one of our- The actor from- the Kevin Dillon Entourage. from Entourage. Yes. And I booked him on your show, mm -hmm. and I was in a long-term relationship, 12 years with a 70s pop star teen idol, mm -hmm. who everyone probably knows, but he will remain nameless mm -hmm. for the, this occasion. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I happen I, to know I, his name. You do know ahead. his name, but you said you didn't know who he was, but that, that's a whole <laughs> other story. And the relationship was complicated, and I was yep. thinking about getting out. Mm -hmm. So I told my mother and my sister I was going to a guy's show, mm -hmm. and I should put on a short dress and high heels. Ah, Maybe I'll meet a guy. Okay. But and you didn't know much about me except... I didn't know anything about you except my guy had been in my living room two weeks prior mm -hmm. and was watching a sports show in my living room. And I walked through and I said, hey, what, what show are you watching? And he said... These two guys debate. This guy is really good, but this guy's an idiot, and the idiot was you. <laughs> and so all I thought of was, well, he's kind of cute, but not in my kind of type guy no. I go after. I go for rock and rollers and kind I was of not a rock bi and roller. bikers and just yep. Steve Perry from Journey ish kind of guy. Yep. And there you were. But I thought, <laughs> I oh, not you, fit the part. you were not, you know, you were like a Sears model meets Kevin Costner kind of guy. All right. So I take Kevin Dillon and I'm in the dressing room mm -hmm. and no, you're Kevin, in the green I was room. in the green room. green room. Kevin was on the set and I was with a coworker of mine mm -hmm. and you walked by the door. Okay. Now my turn. Oh, this is like he said, she said, but mine is accurate. Yours is probably not accurate, but go ahead. Mine is about to be very accurate. Right. Okay. Yeah. In a literal billion to one shot mm -hmm. yeah. on that day at Cole Pizza, mm -hmm. I accidentally left my notes for what we call then fourth down. We did four right. debate segments throughout a two hour show, first, second, third, and fourth right. down. I left my notes for fourth down in my dressing room. Yes. Which was, we were shooting the show live in the basement of the New Yorker Hotel in New York City. It's at 34th and 8th. Right. And you have to go down a long hall from the studio to where the dressing rooms are. And along that long hall, you have to pass the green, green room, room right. where you were stationed at right, that point. Right. I literally was running because I, I had maybe three minutes to retrieve my notes and right. run back before we're on live. And as I passed the green room, I looked to my right and saw you hey, right. and caught your eye. And you said, hi, right. as if you knew me. But that's the way you I are. Didn't I didn't know you, but I just said hi because you were walking by. But and, then, and I said, "Do I know you?" No, and then you said, "You said to me, oh, hi. Who are you here with? What do you do? Where do you live?'" But you, you acted like you. Well, knew I me just and, said hi, and then I said, yeah, "I'm with Kevin said, Dillon." But you said, "I'm Ernestine." I said, "I'm Ernestine," and then you there was are? no last name. It was like Madonna <laughs> or you know Cher. It was like <laughs> right. I'm Ernestine. You're Ernestine. And then what? you said to me, "Who are you with?" I said, "I'm with Kevin Kevin Dillon." And then you said. Where do you live? But I wasn't doing anything with Kevin Dillon. I didn't even know he was on the no, show. No, he was, he was, you were going to teach him how to play golf or no, something. I thought it, it was, was something. Jay Crawford. Oh, Jay was on. Okay. okay. Anyway, and he was promoting Hanes or Champion t shirts. I think it was Hanes Underwood. Hanes. But go ahead. And then I said, I, you asked me where I lived, and I was so hey, nervous. Th this that whole I, conversation like is going to Like two minutes, take not place even. Place an under minute. two. Right. Yes. And then you said, where do you live? And I lived on 52nd and 1st. And I said, I lived on 51st and 2nd. And then you said, <laughs> oh, Okay, and then I said, well, if you ever need PR, here's my card, and I yeah. gave you my card. Faithful. And after you left the dressing, mm -hmm. the green room, my coworker turned to me and said, you're going to marry that guy. And I said, are you what? insane? 
I, I, I'm dating somebody else and he's not, I don't even know who he is. And it never dawned on me. You were the guy that my guy was watching in the, in the living room. And then after that, I walked to my best friend's office, who still is my best friend, a doctor Dermatologist, in New York. Yeah. And I said, I met this guy, but I don't know anything about him. I don't know if he's married. I don't know what his story is and whatever. And then she said, oh, okay. And then that was it. And then later that day, you sent me an email and you I think said- I a couple of days, but go ahead. I thought it was, I think I have the email. I could look at the date, <laughs> but I thought, and You're you said- you me on my own show? I said- no, I said, oh, you said, oh, it was nice meeting you. Sorry, I had to run. And I said, oh, you were dressed so you look like Dapper Dan or something. And then that was it. And then that this, went on for two this weeks. This went back and forth for two weeks until finally, fatefully, another billion to one shot. Right. It was a Friday evening. And I had a coworker that I would, a, a female who I would just platonically go to movies with occasionally because we both like movies right. and we had set up for us to go to the seven o'clock movie that Friday night. Right. And she stiffed me. I don't know what happened. And, and she was n nowhere to be found right. faithfully. Yeah. Maybe it was a God right. thing. I don't know. But I finally decided, Hmm, I don't have anything planned tonight. And this is back in the day, still a voicemail. Right. And at cold pizza, I had a weird voicemail that I never checked. I don't think I'd ever checked it in the whole first year I'd been there. And for some reason, I checked it and you were on it. Well, because it was two weeks of you and I going back and forth about we made up this this dog that we were married and we were going through a divorce yeah, and all yeah. this, whatever. And then I thought, this is really weird. This guy never asks me out. He just emails me back and forth. And then my mother said to me. I wasn't in the dating game. I right. But then my mother it. said to me, well, you need to find out what his story is. Because if he's married and whatever it mm -hmm. is, then just, and I left a voicemail. And I said, hey, if you want to talk, you can call me. And that was when you and checked your voicemail once in a I, billion. I called. Right. And we wound up Stayed talking on the phone for like for three hours. Three hours right? on Friday night. Right. You were watching a Yankees game. I remember you emailed me and you said, oh, oh, you won't mind if I'm just watching a little game. Little did I know what my fate was going to be, that it was going to turn into that was my life was watching games. And then I said, oh, no, I like the Yankees. Yes. And we had a lot in common. Weirdly, because... Right. Uh, I'm from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, right. and, I'm from and New York. you're from New York, from Long Island, right? except your mother is Jewish and your father was Italian, Italian. and it's about as, as far, it's like the other side of the world right. from where I'm from. Yeah. So we were a complete mismatch who matched. Somehow. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from The Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.